Hello everybody, welcome back to FTL's Advanced Captain's Edition. Um, last run I bowed out due to my own misfortunate decisions I made. So we're starting up a new run, ignore this one, this is uh, me that's still tinkering with my own ship. Want to get it perfect before I release another one. Uh, let's pick up a new one, right? Uh, I don't like you because you start off with a missile launcher now, a crappy one at that. Let's try it, you. This could be fun, but you're kind of worthless when it comes down to... Oh. Hmm. This could work, I think. Anyway, let's look a little bit further. You're good. Wonder what your downside is. Let's pick you. We know what our secret Dale looks like. There's nothing new under the sun there. It's immediately our tenth scrap. <coughs> Gone. Don't mind. Okay. Well, so far so good. <clears throat> um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, we know that, but we're slugs, right? So we can do that. Well, one of us is a slug. Um, so I shouldn't be bothered. And I'm not, not in the slightest. So yeah, the uh, work on the AI cruiser is uh, going pretty well, getting some <clears throat> minor, well not really bugs, but graphical issues out of the way. Um, trying to get a, um, trying to get that slug repair gel going on the Captain's Edition's version of it, which uh, to me, I don't understand half of uh, it. Um, being helped really well by Ran L, creator of the um, Rantel mod that I'm currently using. Thanks, man. Um, don't really know what's going on with that now, but. I'll get it sorted out, and we'll uh, probably get another run of that ship up. So that's something to look out for. Could upgrade shields. Maybe we can start boarding now if you come across a ship that's particularly weak against what I can do here. Hmm. Maybe. We'll have to... muck around a bit and make... It's probably not the safest idea to board when mind control is... Uh, waiting for us. Um, well, we could technically try it out if we do something like this. Let's give it a whack, right? Uh, ah, immediately noticing a small problem. That problem being a lack of healing. But I think we start off with a constructive teleporter. Now, the only thing that can happen that's bad now is that this thing hits the shields, and I mean actively hit shields, shields, not pass through the shields and hit something else, no. 
Well, um, let's give it a go, shall we? <clears throat> they don't seem to have any means of uh, healing themselves up, so... We'll see what we can do here. I gotta make sure I don't kill you. Oh, crud. Did not see that through. So I cannot teleport you back. Which means... I have to keep them both in the room and just try to guess when mind control wears off. I'm gonna get you back at least. And we'll do the entire shuffle again when uh, Minecraft wears off. Then it might be a bit easier than what I'm trying to do right now. Maybe. Definitely is the most interesting thing to watch. Okay, get out. Okay. So the Mantis should be pretty much dead and... Uh, I think the other enemies are going to cause too much of a problem in the meantime. So I'm going to try and take that mind control offline again. I don't have to teleport it, man. I kind of need that. Why aren't you working? That's a problem with me. Give me a teleporter and I'll definitely want to go try and use it. For better or for worse. In this case, probably worse. So, we haven't been hit yet, so... Uh <clears throat> then again, we seem to have a slight problem of hitting the enemy ship as well. Nope, they're not trying to run anyway, so uh, it's not like we're in any form of immediate rush. But, um... Can't help but notice our 50% chance to miss. Alright, now's the time to actually get in there ourselves. And try and take out that Manti. Probably shouldn't shoot at him. Oh well. Alright, with only two engines left, this should be doable. So we're probably going to try and get some extra crew in here. We can't take slaves or slugs, but... All in all, that shouldn't really be a, a problem. Alright. Reconstructive teleporter is working as intended. Some extra power probably wouldn't hurt. Mainly to keep the engines up and running at all times. We learned to deal with mind control a little bit later. Not a little bit earlier. Doesn't really matter if I wait for the flag here to be ready. The eye will do no such thing. Alright, so now I can have both of my weapons up or my teleporter and one of my weapons up. That's kind of okay. Now. Ugh, AI ships, AI ships, AI ships. Problem here is I actually can counter AI ships, so suck on that. Fighting and bring a ship close to a small asteroid for Yeah, we've got two layers of shields, we should be able to... take care of it. No, 
Alright. <clears throat> now we wait. Hmm, let's see. We are completely safe against you. We'll try to take care of both of these funky dudes. And if all goes well, we'll be able to take out that clone bay and that'll be two less people to deal with on the enemy ship. Should have used my dual laser to take care of the teleporter rather than that clone bay, but that's okay. There we go. And without having to go to the med bay, we can, I'm gonna take care of that thing yet again. Ah, uh, oh right, I should be doing it this way. Accept and then attack. Hmm. Well, uh, let's get out of this room and into this one. There we go. Five fuel. We're, uh, I'm not going to run out of that anytime soon. Mm. Yeah, we'll attack it. Next, oh man, again, mind control. Well, he's always going to go for the human because he can't mind control my slug. That was clean misses all over the board from the advanced flak. So were those apparently. All right. Now look, it's a store. Uh, yeah, well, help. So he'll will be able to take care of my shields, it seems. Um, so we'll take care of its weapons and clone bay and fight in the clone bay. Right, that's good. Oh, that one went straight through and did three damage to us. That's pretty horrifying. All right, let's do this. Should be able to win this, right? I mean... Nope. We're losing. Well, we didn't kill anyone yet, so it's not that big of a concern yet. We'll have to destroy the clone bay again. Probably have another shot at the weapons as well. But that's okay. Alright. That took it all out. And then we should, in theory, be able to kill them here. Didn't look like he was going to surrender, so... Thank you for saving us. The ship is transporting Federation civilians on the run from the rebellion. We don't have the equipment to fight for ourselves. I don't have much to offer, but I can inform you of a hidden Federation base nearby. Alright. They better. If I go here... Then they will advance to here, and here they will advance to here. 
<clears throat> um, if I go here, then it'll be here. If I go here, then it'll be here. And the next jump, there will be here. So I won't be going to that quest, unfortunately. What do we have in... Artillery, huh? Mm. Really designed high attack missile launched fire four projects for the cost of one. Its cloak missiles can only be shot down by the most advanced drones. Takes four power, though. Twenty scrap for a leto. Or leto, whatever. Huh? I think we're fine, though. Clone Bay wouldn't be the worst, but I think we won't. They'll really need it that badly with the reconstructive teleporter. Where are you trying to go, anyway? Doors. Probably just gonna <clears throat> deal with them by suffocating them. The problem here is, I'm used to having either a, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, I am um, clone bay or med bay, which means it's pretty little, which means, what am I I'm trying to say here anyway, look, it's going to be weird for me not being able to heal my crew, dot. I'm used to either having to not being able to do it, but having the clone bear passively take care of it, or having to shove my crew in the med bay every f after every jump. There's a good chance that I'm going to lose some crew here. Are you going to board me now? Okay, so then we'll... Uh, airlocks. There they are. Okay, we'll wait for the air to rush back into the ship before we decide to move on. Uh, level production base 5, lost systems. With slugs, it, nebulas aren't that bad. We can still run into a bunch of empty sectors, but... <clears throat> you enjoy a replicator coffee, huh? Well, good for you. Let's take a look at what we will be using here. And that's gonna be basically it. Once we get our weapon down, we can get our oxygen back up by lowering our uh, shields one. There we 
can even get a rudder weapon online to speed things up a bit. And so much for it being safe to lower our shields by one. Well, there goes a crew member. Told you I'd lose one. Didn't think he would actually be gunned down, though. Oh well. <clears throat> Let's hope for uh, us to find some. Put a bit of a damper on our boarding strategy. Shit about that clone bay on that first store, huh? <coughs> See, only two people in there, but they've got a missile launcher. Don't know if that's a dual shot or not, so we'll keep both of our shields up. I think if I go for the NG, there's a good chance that the human will just ignore me. Uh, accept, open fire. There we go. Alright, well, let's see if the theory holds out. Uh, they don't seem to have any capable... Well, none. They don't have any strong doors, so I can move them whenever I would want to. Let's see if they get reinforced. Yep, they totally do. I wonder what changes that. Well, he's on his own now. I think we'll kill the human before uh, Genji gets ready with his repairs. Are we going to be able to kill the human before he kills us? Uh, should be able to. Yeah. Close, though. Miss Launcher doesn't seem to be willing to go down again. Seems to be a common issue. I can't really shoot much more on him, or else I'm gonna kill the ship, so... That's another problem. Can't help but noticing a fire. Missile launcher still active. And he's out of missiles. Well, seems like we caught them all with our face anyway, so... Uh... Bring the cadets on board, one of them grabs a rifle from a nearby rack and rebel stage a desperate attempt to take over your ship. Hmm. Should have executed them then, huh? Oh well. Probably won't get too far. Proud of yourself, rebels. Probably should uh, power up my oxygen again. Let's see if this is worth something anywhere. Uh, I mean, I could get two of those. Gonna get one. I usually don't buy crew too often, so that's how much I actually do want another crew member. 
Mm, that's gonna be it. Now. These got two people back on boarding detail. Hello, mm, see. Oh, yeah, there is a missile launcher there. Pretty big one at that as well. <clears throat> see if we're gonna can kill these two before we have to get in there. Mr. Launcher is staying online. That's starting to annoy me, but then again, it's a thing that happens every freaking time, so it's probably easier to just get used to it. He shot his own crew. Yeah, that's probably a smart idea. It doesn't really matter what health you end up with. How can I make this annoying on them? I don't know, they got a lot of crew on there. Alright, the O2's busted. Yeah, that could probably be it. Alright, so I'm assuming we'll get another missile launcher flung at us. Well, another missile flung at us anytime soon, so this is probably going to be a kill. Hmm, this isn't going too well, is it? You didn't have a clone bay or med bay for sale. Well, I have to teleport in at some point, because uh, we're not doing too hot. Okay, this seems like we should be okay. I'm going to leave my ship on the zone for now, because I don't... Trust my crew for living too much longer if I don't immediately teleport them in to this room. <clears throat> I'm gonna then use the advanced flak on this thing and this on that thing. That went a lot better. <coughs> that went a lot better. Uh, leave them alone. Yeah, I ship no. Not an AI ship. So what do we want? What do we need? I think if we can do one of those, then we seem to be all right for what we want to accomplish here. As long as we don't go breaking stuff on their end, we should be okay here. get you back because I just realized that I actually have to try and see if he's willing to surrender which means we'll have to power up our weapons and shoot at it for a little bit probably on piloting now I know a taking a surrender doesn't always mean we'll be able to attack it afterwards. Um, it's kind of a risk that we're having to take right about now. Like I said, we're not going to mess with its power. I think we just caused the fire in there. That's going to be a problem for you, isn't it? Uh, 
Let's see, are you willing to surrender? You should have one more time with the flak. But after that, we'll probably have to go in there and uh, accept an open fire. Yeah, brilliant. And then we can go kill the crew. It's mean, but it works. Life support gear. We'll see if we can make some money on the uh, compressed nebula gas. Never took it with me. Should power the engines. Is there anything we wish to upgrade? Mm, not quite yet. Let's see if we put up our f shields completely, and then that, and go like this. We're a okay here. No clone bay, no med bay on their end. We'll fire at their ship and see if we can make them surrender. Kind of ironic that I'm now. Uh, Abusing an augment that I'm trying to get rid of on my own mod, but <clears throat> you know, come out and surrender. I know you want to. Trying to escape. All right. Sector scan, huh? Could be useful. Yeah, that's gonna help. Help us avoid empty beacons. Well, you had to come across some of these at some point. We'll fight them off with our crew. Keep an eye out so our oxygen doesn't get completely wiped. Might as well stick you on engines if there's nothing else to do for you. Alright. Can't help but noticing a gigantic lack of stores once again. But we don't have anything to upgrade yet, so... Moving on. Prepare to chase them. Nothing. Yes. Alright. Probably want to get this one over pretty quickly. Right, we should be fine. Yeah, okay. So we can go after the shields or piloting. Probably piloting. <coughs> A little bit of both, actually. Okay. What are we having? Stuff. Uh, sun. No. No, 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 no. I've learned. I've learned. I'm starting to read this stuff again. Third interval. Yeah, sure. Could be civilian sector where we can buy some stuff. Definitely use some stuff. Sure. Uh -huh. 
Alright, let's try to get to a store, see if that gas goes for something. Sure. But I don't really see a missile launcher. Uh, yeah, a missile launcher, which means I can just go ahead and do one of these and get it over with. The artillery still uh, isn't something I'd like to see on enemy ships because they seem to have much more luck with that stuff than I have. Why is he going to the med bay? Did I shoot at him or something? Probably I shot him at something. Alright, um, well we can't see how the auction is doing, so the only thing we can do is uh, wait until they start going to the med bay on their own. At that point we can well, at least kill off one of their crew members. Um, yeah. We'll know the auction has run out, and we can then see if they plan on surrendering. And if they don't, well, we just have to destroy their medbay. So, we got some time on our hands. Um, maybe time to speak about something else than just FTL, I don't know. Um, hmm. Well, my uh, douche cam just came in today. I don't know what a douche cam is, it's what I call a dash cam. Because you, you use it to uh, record idiots on the road. If I ever end up recording something interesting with that thing, I uh, might pop it up here. Um, doesn't seem like they're willing to surrender now. I'd rather not have them fire that artillery too often. No more life signs. Alright, so we got a bunch of uh, scrap already. I'm gonna put in one engine upgrade. Oh, no power for that. Pretty happy with the thing, didn't cost me that much. Uh, it's a good deal. So why wouldn't we take it? We might do something useful with those missiles at some point. Sh sure. Okay, this didn't go too well, did it? Um, what are they? Ah, oh, shields, of course. Had to be shields. Well, we won't be using our engines too much if we're gonna board them. Is that a Vulcan or is that something entirely different? Hmm, that was weird. I didn't see it do damage. Well, the hole will be breached when we get back. Frig mine launcher. Well, we can always use that thing if you so want to. <clears throat> yeah, the douche cam didn't cost me that much. Really records pretty beautiful full HD, even at night times. Well, I wouldn't record in HD when it's night, but still pretty clear when it's night. Um, and uh, the insurance now actually allows footage from douche cams to be admitted when a problem pops up. We weren't able to do that because of the law of privacy and stuff like that. Yeah. So even if you could prove he rear-ended me, well, he backed up into me, you were still at fault. So, all hail our laws here. But now, you can still... Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. You seem to have a big gun, so I'm gonna attack you. Oh, it's just one of those. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think Virginia's gonna do the same thing we always are doing. Problem is, he has a uh, 
another one of those anti-crew things. I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, what we could do, however, is send you in as well. At least that way our crew isn't going to get shot to pieces. And we can stick it out right here. And keep an eye out on what the, the oxygen supply on their end is. Breaches will be taken care of by our slug repair gel. Uh, which means we could start shooting at them and seeing if they are willing to... to wow, it all missed. Three shots, three misses. Whoa. Um, if I accept the bribe, it's just over, so it doesn't count as a surrender offer, if I'm not mistaken. Which means this doesn't really serve any point. So the air is about to run out on there, and I think... we will have to use the dual laser to hopefully take out a level 1 medbay. Crew's dying. Um, wonder why he's not. There he goes. He didn't even want to try and fix. Okay, come on. We're getting a ridiculous amount of scrap. Just let me freaking do something with it, okay? No stores ever anywhere. Thought it was supposed to be a civilian sector. Bring the ship up into attack mission near the beacon away. The criminals arrive shortly after you finished planning the ambush. Time to strike. Sure. Are we supposed to kill these or are we just doing something uh, entirely different here? Better not let that thing fire because that's going to hurt like a ton of bricks. Right, we broke that just in time, I would say. I don't know what we're supposed to do here, but killing the crew now seems to be the easiest part. Didn't switch him around. Alright, so then we have to move the Mantis in first and then you. Didn't switch him around. Okay. So what's the first thing that they go... Okay, that'll do it. Pirate goons have been killed and the ship no longer offers resistance. You send in a salvage crew. You search a crewman lying scattered throughout the enemy ship and identify one of the pirates as the wanted fugitive. It is not surprising that he has sustained heavy injuries in the heat of battle. He is unconscious and his life signs fade quickly. This is probably not going to work. Yeah. Probably would have gone better if I had a mid bay or clone bay. Still a store, so this is becoming quite messed up all of a sudden. <clears throat> Don't really need the data stores because we're getting out of here and <clears throat> pretty quickly anyway. 300 scrap and nothing to do. Right, he has a clone bay. He also has artillery. So I think I'm just going to try and kill this one as soon as I can. If he tries to surrender, we'll take it, of course. <laughs> Uh, there's no airlocks anywhere near here. Oh, jeez. Um, we're going to have to let the thing burn out because like, he's not going to be able to do anything. 
and I can't move him because otherwise he'll be torn up by the artillery. So yeah, if we lose doors, well, too bad, but not much we can really do about the whole thing. Okay, luckily the artillery impacted before the asteroid did. Now, this looks doable as far as boarding goes. They got shields up, so asteroids shouldn't be an issue. And their Colombe is down. Their entire ship's on fire though, so that could be a bit of a problem, but... Healing Burst, that'll work nicely on our ship. Fires are everywhere, get out! There we go. Alright, uh, sh sure, let's go fix that up. A slug and a mantis walk into a bar. Start of a bad joke, isn't it? I don't have a I don't have an actual joke about the whole thing, but Looks like this ship is still gonna go down if I let it burn out long enough. Which I'm not going to. Because, frankly, who has the time? Oh, look, stores. Well, let's go do some shopping. I'm going to sell the gas here because I want to go to both of those stores. Let's see, cloaking, yes. Not going to get a med bay. Probably going to get a clone bay. Crew. Yeah, Avatar's cheap and useful. Wouldn't mind the long range scanners. But there's another store nearby here, so we'll go visit that one as well. So we got our missile defense in. It's nice. It's always good to have. Not gonna sell the nebula gas. Burst laser three. Yeah, that's uh ah, clone bay. Yeah, we want this. And we want this. And we do not want this, but that, and we'll upgrade weapons by one. We'll keep it at this for now, but we are gonna try and get this burst laser thing of a jig online. Alright, go in there, go in there. And we have someone for piloting now. If I get our crew heals a little bit every time, I don't really see the point of it. Other than keeping our AI avatar alive, because he's probably not going to be doing too much of the boarding, is he? Right, well that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, I'm hoping you're still enjoying the series. Feel free to show support by commenting, liking and or subbing. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Bye everyone.